Welcome to this presentation on Integration 1. In Integration 1, you are going to learn the methods of integration. This includes indefinite integrals and definite integrals. Then, I will explain to you the law of definite integrals. Finally, you will know how to find the equation of a curve given its gradient function. So what is integration? Remember, you have learned differentiations in Form 4. If you have an equation y, if you differentiate y, you will get dy dx. This is called the gradient function. So integration is the reverse of the differentiations. That is, if you integrate the gradient function dy dx against x, you will get back the equation of the curve. So to summarize, if you differentiate y, you got your gradient function dy dx. If you integrate the gradient function dy dx, you will get back your equation of the curve. Next, I'm going to show you the methods of integrations. In SVM, you only need to know three basic formula on how to integrate a function. Now I'm going to start with the first formula, integration k dx, where k is a constant equal to kx plus c. In this case, c is also a constant. For example, integration of 2 dx, this equal to 2x plus c. How about integration of 3 over 4 dx? 3 over 4 is also a constant. This equal to 3 over 4x plus c. Now we proceed to the second formulas. If you are integration, ax power n dx. Now a bit different, you have x power n here. This equal to ax. Now this power, you have to plus 1, become n plus 1. You divide it by n plus 1, again plus c. So for all the indefinite integral, you have to put plus c behind. So what is an indefinite integral compared with a definite integral? So for indefinite integral, you have integration 2x plus 1 dx. So for definite integral, the only difference with indefinite integral, you have a value, for example, integration 1 to 2, 3x dx. So remember, for indefinite integral, where there's no value here, you have to put a plus c as a constant. If you want to integrate 3x power 4 dx, then you have to use the second formula. This equal to 3x power 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. Therefore, this equal to 3x power 5 over 5 plus c. So how about you have 3 over 2x power 3 dx? So in this case, you need to bring your x power up. This equal to 3 over 2 x power negative 3 dx. Now you can apply this formula. This equal to 3 over 2 x negative 3 plus 1 divided by negative 3 plus 1. Remember to put a plus c because this is an indefinite integral. So simplify, you have 3 over 2 x power negative 2 divided by negative 2 plus c. Next, you have to simplify it. You have negative 3 over 4. You bring down your power. That is x squared plus c. So the last formula now, let's say you need to integrate a composite function. That is ax plus b power n dx. This equal to... First, you copy down the function inside ax plus b. The power increased by 1 divided by n plus 1. The last step here, you need to differentiate the function inside. So ax plus b, you differentiate, you got a. Always remember to put plus c. For example, integration of 3x plus 1 power 7 dx. So it's very simple. This equal to... 3x plus 1, increase the power by 1, your 8, divided by 8. Always remember to differentiate this function inside. Differentiate 3x plus 1, you have 3. And the last one, is for indefinite integral, remember to put plus c. So this equal to 1 over 24, 3x plus 1, power 8 plus c. How about this? You need to integrate 7 over... 3x minus 2 power 6 dx. 
So now the first step is to bring the power up. So you have integration 7 3x minus 2 power negative 6 dx. Now you can start the integration process. That is 7 3x minus 2 negative 6 plus 1. You have negative 5 over negative 5. Differentiate the function inside here 3. Remember to put plus C. This equal to negative 7 over 15. Bring down your power. 3x minus 2 power 5 plus C. So this is the three basic formulas on integration.